Victoria's Secret made headlines earlier this year for hiring its first openly transgender model. She broke barriers and modeled progress. We're seeing the progress of equality reflected in culture more and more through LGBTQ storylines on television. Pop stars using pronouns like they and them. Trans actors earning recognition for groundbreaking roles that highlight gender identity. But when it comes to sports, there's only so much room for athletes who are out. Emily Gangyong introduces us to one Atlanta-based league working to change that. Camera three. Camera go back. The hits. The style. It all comes. My name is Agent Mulder. To this. Rosie Derivator. Walt Hitman. No flux given. Spell with a U. F L U X. It's the chaos of rugby. The contact of football. All at the speed of hockey. I like hitting people. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> My practice is raging on skates. These athletes come to play, but there's a reason they come here. Yeah, blow to me, blow to me, blow to me. I said we're the only sport where they're all out other than the WNBA anyway. Most of the team identifies as LGBTQ. Okay. A statistic you won't find in many mainstream sports. Back in the 70s and 80s, there was a lot of costumes and fishnets, and it was just over the top. So. I think that campiness is what caused a lot of queer people to start skating. So, and roller derby is one of those environments where I felt so open and I felt so safe and, you know, included that I felt free to be me in my own skin. There you go. So why aren't more sports as inclusive? Go, oh, four. White men. <laughs> I mean, short answer. Um, as soon as someone brings up sexuality or gender expression or anything, all of the straight, cis, usually white people are like, why are you bringing politics into my sport? And most of us are like, we're not, we're just being who we are. For these skaters, it's not about labels. This year, the players even changed their name. Atlanta Roller Girls are now Atlanta Roller Derby. So that culture permeates through every league I've ever skated with. You know, not everyone may identify as a girl, or some people might find the term girl to be pejorative. I mean, we're not perfect. Yeah. Like, Roller Derby still has a long way to go, but like, as far as like where we are from everywhere else, I think we're a good step up. The players say there's a lesson for pro sports. Oh, people are people. We should just let people be people. Being inclusive <laughs> should be the least painful part of the game. Atlanta's home to two professional teams that are proud to support the LGBTQ community. The Falcons and Atlanta United are both corporate sponsors of Atlanta Pride. Back to you. You can watch our live broadcast of the Pride Parade on Peachtree TV on Sunday, October 13th. It's from 12.30 p.m. until 4. We'll be streaming the 49th Annual Parade live on CBS46.com and on the CBS46 app. Thank you for joining us for our special report. We hope you will join us again for the Pride Parade. And we hope you come away with a little more understanding of our friends, our neighbors, our family, and just who we are.